basically I was sitting in my Victorian English class writing a poem or like doodling or something and I don't know I just like randomly thought of it and I just really vividly remember like writing like truth be told and I, I just thought it would be like a really cool thing to do um and so when I got out of class I was like super determined to do it so I just like texted all these people and like wrote in my like all the Facebook groups that I'm in and I was like hey guys I'm like working on this photography project like made it sound a lot more legit than it was and was like oh I like need models whatever um so all these people like came um for my sorority I think I had like eight girls the first night um and then like I don't know it just like really took off from there like a lot more people wanted to be a part of it like and then the cool thing was like at first it was like a lot of people from my sorority or like people that I'm friends with or whatever know from like various groups on campus and then it was like so many people that I had literally never met before that were just like friending me messaging me saying like oh like my friend did this or like I saw your work like whatever um so I don't know that's where it like became really cool for me because I shot like I think like 99 people and I would say like only like 15% of them I actually like knew before so that was really cool just getting to know people. I think like the main goal that I had in starting this was kind of trying to like really reveal um kind of the real things that make people who they are like the like this sounds really cheesy but like the journeys they've been on and like what kind of like hardships they've overcome and so I really wanted to like stray away from just like quotes that they really liked or song lyrics or something like that I wanted it to be something that when written on their bodies it would be really impactful and tell people something that they might not immediately know or that even people close to them may not have known about um because I think that that's the best way to really I don't know spread a message and be more real than I think we tend to be on a daily basis. My name is Alondra Guevara. Um, I am a freshman at Marquette University and I got painted. Uh, I once had a dream of making it this far. Well, my name is Alex Whalen. I'm a fifth year senior. So I had painted on my arms down and in my hands. Um, faith led me where I least expected. Marky Pasternak and I am a junior. I got on me I live in the past because that because I'm happy there. It kind of just meant to me like at the moment like uh, like I like I had a flashback you know like growing up I always like wondered like what it would be like to go to college or what would it be like to be someone important. So I guess like I just had like a background like a very complicated background like I grew up in the city of Chicago and in, in a really bad area, Logan Square. So kind of just grew up around very like negative uh, vibes, but like such a good like unity, just like united people and like everyone's like, you know, there for each other. But I kind of wanted to get away and just grow up in like a different area and actually like make something out of myself. So like that quote meant a lot to me because I actually pictured myself of like growing up, being in college, doing great, like, like no scars, like, you know, so it was kind of cool. And that's kind of what that quote means. So what that means for me, um, like, College for me was a very long journey. That's part of the reason why I'm here for my fifth year. And my faith life was very much a part of that, kind of something I could lean on when school wasn't the best or friends weren't there. And um, so it was something that was constantly there through this whole journey. And it definitely led me um, from where I started off in college to where I am now and what I plan on doing with my future. Um, so it means a lot to me. Um, if you had told me four years ago that I was going to be a comm student my senior year, I wouldn't have believed you. Um, so that's where the like least expected kind of area comes in. I don't know if you've ever heard of a phenomenon or a uh, syndrome called HCM. It's called, it's called Highly Superior Autobiographical Memory. Uh, there's, they've only discovered 54 people in the country who have this um, memory, and I'm one of them. Basically what I can do is I can tell you um, what happened on any day of my life since I was 10 or 11. So. Um, if you were to say, you know, what day was June 26, 2007, I could tell you it was a Tuesday. I could tell you that it was the end of my friend Jill's sleepover birthday party, and I stayed at her house a little later. We played ping pong, and then we went to figure skating practice. It's sometimes a more of a blessing than a curse because, you know, you can remember everything in such detail and so vividly that it's hard to forget anything and let go of things sometimes, and I've really had to work on coping with certain things that have happened in my life, like my father passing away last year. So people with this syndrome tend to live in the past. Um, you know, I've been trying my whole life to um, kind of combat that and things like that and to really look forward and uh, live in the present, be here now sort of a thing. Um, but it's really hard. But what I've noticed is um, I have some sometimes there's interfering thoughts of these bad times in my life, but most of the time I go back into the past and I picture vivid, happy times. 
uh, times when my dad was alive, you know, um, times where, you know, I was happy with this boyfriend or, you know, times when I had a really good time with this friend or I won this award or something like that. You know, I, I go back and I kind of relive those moments. Ideally, I would have like um, photographs of everyone at Marquette. I think that I really want to continue it like over the summer into next year and um, as long as I'm here, honestly, um, I just really want to get to know everyone on campus and kind of have people connect in a way that we might not have before, we might not normally kind of in our everyday lives, I guess.